How to make a car selling website. Hello, hope you are in the best of health. I'm your host, Jason. The platform that we'll be using to create our website is Wix. The reason why I recommend Wix Website Builder is it is beginner friendly, easy to use, and there's also a lot of information about it available online. So if you would like to get any form of help during the process of creating your website or after creating it, you can quickly search for it on YouTube or on Google. So go on to Wix.com and I want you to create an account. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to create an account. All you'll need is your email address. Once you have created your account, you're going to tap on Create New Site. After selecting Create New Site, I want you to tap on Create on Wix Editor. Once you have selected Create on Wix Editor, you are going to tap on Set Up Without AI as this will give you more options on how to customize your website to your liking. Then we are going to type in right here, since this is a car selling website, we are going to simply type in car and you can type in car dealer, then tap on next. After doing that, you can see it is preparing my dashboard. So it is going to redirect me to my Wix dashboard. On the Wix dashboard, I will be showing you how to add your business name and also other helpful information that will help you to create a stunning website. So we are going to add our business name right there. So we can simply type in car selling, then tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. And yes, I'm just getting started. So I'm going to type right there. Since we will be selling cars, so we are going to tap on physical products right there. Then you are going to tap on next. And you can see online store, we'll be collecting payment online, yes. And we'll also be collecting payment in person. So we are going to tap on that. Then select next and tap on continue to dashboard. Now that you have selected continue to dashboard, you'll be redirected to the Wix dashboard. On the Wix dashboard, I'll show you how to upload your product images. So how to upload images of the cars that you are planning on selling. All you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, hover over store products, then you are going to tap on products. After selecting products, you'll be redirected to this page. And from here, you could delete the sample products. So you can tap right here. Then after tapping there, I'll show you how to delete it. You'll select more actions. Then you're going to simply tap on delete. So we'll select delete right there and we're going to delete the sample products. Then tap on new products, select physical product. After you have selected physical product from here, all you'll need to do now, you can add an image of the product. So you can see right there, we'll tap on images. After tapping on images, you could tap on upload media and you could upload an image of the car or cars that you are planning to sell. So for example, I'll type in car right here. So let's do that real quick. And you can see the different images right here. I'm going to just use some of these copyright free images. So let's say this one and I'll tap on add to page. After you have done that, you can scroll down. You can also add a video if you want. Then from here, you could add some details. So let's say for example, and you can also add a quick description. Then by scrolling down, you can set the price that you will be selling it for. So let's say for example, I will be selling it for 200,000. You can type that in right there. If it is on sale, you can toggle it on right there that it is on sale. Once you're finished, you can scroll down and you can tap on save in the top right hand corner. And you can add the different vehicles right here. So you can add them right there. Once you have added the different vehicles that you'll be offering, all you'll need to do now is go over to the left hand menu option, scroll down and right where you see billing and payments, you are going to hover over that 
and you're going to select payments. After selecting payments, you'll be redirected to this page and you are going to tap on manage payment methods. After selecting manage payment methods, what I want you to do next is you can connect your PayPal account. If you don't have a PayPal account, I would recommend that you create one. As with this, you'll be able to offer your customers or potential customers more payment options. So this will help to increase your chance of getting a sale. And you can also change the payment methods if you want by tapping on change right here. So for example, if I were to change my business location to United States, I will be able to offer more payment options. And you can view more payment options by tapping on see more payment options in the bottom left hand corner. Now after you are finished doing that, it is now time to scroll back up from the left hand menu option, tap on settings, and we are going to set up the appearance of our website. So we are going to tap on design in the top right hand corner. Then from here, what I want you to do next is select pick a template. After selecting pick a template, you can see some templates or some themes that Wix recommends right here. So you can scroll down and you can see the different themes. I would go with this one and I'm going to select edit. Once you have selected edit, you'll give it a few seconds while the AI composes our website. Once here, I want you to tap on the X in the top to close out. Then on this page, you are going to tap on plus 50%. And at the moment, this is how our website looks right here. So you can see it right here. This is how it looks. And to start editing, you can hover over the particular section that you would like to change. So let's say you would like to change right here. We could tap right there, select edit text, and you can change that. You can also change the phone number and information here by tapping on it. And by scrolling down, it is the same concept. Anything that you like to change, you can simply use your mouse to tap on it and you'll be able to edit it. So if you would like to change anything, just hover over the section, tap on quick edit. After selecting quick edit, a pop-up window is going to appear on the right hand column. And from there, you can change the image change the title and the information. It is quite easy to edit your website using Wix. And if you would like to add something, let's say we would like to add more text, you could go over to the top left hand corner, tap on add elements. From here, you can see the different elements, whether it be text, image, button, anything at all that you want to add to your website, you will find it in this section. This will be your best friend on a Wix platform right here. You'll find anything that you want to add to your website over there. And to view the different pages, you will tap on home in the top left hand corner and you can see the different pages right here. So you can see pre-owned, you could tap on that and you can see the pre-owned page right here. So this is how it would look. So you can see that with this theme, all you'll need to do now is simply tap on the section that says manage media and you can simply change out these images to the images of the cars that you are selling. And if we were to go back to page in the top left hand corner, tap on financing. If you're offering financing, you can see the financing page right here. You can set it up as you see right there. So you'll be able to collect your customer information and so on right there. Once it is finished, you can tap on save in the top right hand corner to save the changes. Then you can select publish and from there your website will be able to go live. Now if you plan on going onto the Wix paid plan, which I do recommend as it is very affordable to use. So let's check out their paid plan real quick. So you can see right here. It starts off at $12 per month and it goes up to $17 per month. And with this, you'll be able to accept payments. You will also get a free domain name, which is the www.yourbusinessname. You will also get, you can see right here, remove the Wix branding. You will get numerous storage space and a lot of other features. So I do recommend that you give it a try. 
Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.